This beautiful plant you're looking at has been pulling herbs flavors for over 12 years. We call this beautiful lady Agave, and she happens to be my mother. Ah! This liquid that you're looking at is not just a double distilled alcohol. It's also not just meant to get you drunk on the floor with your bros. Ah, su madre, we. This is the almighty balance between smoky and sweet. It's a taste beyond what mortals are used to trying. This is mezcal that loves you, that cares about you. I am Escala Leron. And you might be wondering, what am I? Mexicans, it's, it's more of a moment, a happening. Uh, you, you have mezcal with your friends, you, you share your stories, you have a good time, you forget about problems, you meet new people, you, you enjoy life. I think the meaning of mezcal to Mexicans is huge. That pride, that, that sense of uh, this is what we do, we're great at this, and this is something that's better than anything in the world. That's what mezcal means to us Mexicans, and especially to those who make it. Mezcal, it's Mexico is my way to reconnect with my motherland, is the way that we all as Mexicans can reconnect with Mexico. I am agave liquor, double distilled of course, so you can have the best of me without any impurities. And better yet, it doesn't give you a hangover. Mezcal is basically an agave desolate that is produced within the Mezcal VO, which actually comprehends nine states of the Mexican Republic. You would think that it's called Mezcaleria, but it's not. It's a vinateria because they make wine. Mezcal is kind of like a Mexican wine, if you will. Depending on the region and of the agave, you can get so many different flavor profiles. It's a category of alcohol that is super, super rich as you have different methods of production. You have different master distillers, different regions, different climates. And that's the beauty about Mezcal. I've been drinking Mezcal for about nine years and I love, love the taste of it. Uh, I was never a big tequila. The guy, although I liked it, drinking mezcal is so underestimated by pretty much everyone in the world. They see you drinking mezcal, they're like, oh, what's that? Just a little type of tequila. Nah, this is tequila's daddy, homie. Tequila is actually a mezcal. There are three main differences. Mezcal is mostly done in an artisanal production, while tequila does it mainly in an industrial mass production. Another difference is also that mezcal has more than 40 types of agave to produce mezcal with while tequila you can only use blue agave and the third difference is the DO as well it's a denomination of origin nine states for mezcal five states for tequila i prefer mezcal over tequila because the flavor of the mezcal is stronger than tequila People drink me worldwide every day. This is Mexico's original flavor. But I'm sweet because I was born and raised in Durango. This is the city of the most epic fields. The city of the daredevils. Those in search of adventure and strong emotions. But most importantly, the city of my people, the Mezcal Masters.
Sí, buenas tardes, mi nombre es Alfredo Conde de la Cruz, soy maestro mezclero. Tengo aproximadamente al frente de, de, de la fábrica, cociendo mezcal, 25 años. Eh, soy tercera generación cociendo mezcal. Es muy increíble cuando vas a una distillería y ves a un maestro de distillería que dice a ti que es la tercera generación generation or fourth generation of master distilling so it's something that helps uh, preserve their heritage. Aquí en Durango como ha, ha, tiene una variedad de agave o un mezcal muy sabroso para la gente y lo recomiendo para toda la gente. Eh, ha subido mucho el, este, la producción de mezcal aquí en Durango. My brother and I started working in mezcal about seven to eight years ago. We started in Oaxaca and then After a few years of working with a different agave species down in Oaxaca and learning the methods of southern Mexico, we decided to explore the Mexican DO while until we finally got to Durango. In Durango it's special for us. We decided to do all around there. Because in Durango we have the Sierra Madre Occidental. We found a beautiful wild agave species that could be produced uh, not only for specialties or for very, very small batches, while delivering a completely different taste and profile to, to the table. Very sweet, a different flavor, different aromas, a lower in, in, in smoke. I love and adore having a good sip of mezcal and just drinking it, sipping it little by little, just tasting it and, and understanding all of its flavors and really just learning all the time the, the, the more different types of agave and the people that make it and where it comes from, the weather, the earth, all of that, just while I sit down and drink something. That, that's what my experience with mezcal is taken to a whole different level and I love it. They're very floral. The smokiness comes in a more elegant way on a lower lower side, but they're full of flavors and aromas. A lot of oils and silks in the, in the agave in, in this mezcal. So for me, it's a very approachable mezcal for everyone to drink. It's a very soft, elegant mezcal. I think what makes Aileron so special is the way it's, it's crafted, because it's purely um, artisanal. It's super difficult to, to do. The best things in life are hard, so this, this is the best way to put it into a drink. Tiene características características el mezcal según la región. Por ejemplo, yo pruebo mezcal de aquí y me sabe diferente al de, al, por hablar un nombre, el nombre de Dios. Empieza desde el monte, tenemos que ir seleccionando las piñas que estén maduras. Empieza la selección de piñas y luego el acarreo. Cuando llega aquí a la fábrica, aquí se da otra selección de piñas. Las piñas, o, o cuando se ensucian, pues hay que lavarlas también, ¿verdad? Y, y, y donde está, el, donde empieza ya lo, lo fino pues de producir un buen mezcal es en el cocimiento, que el cocimiento consiste en, en un cocedor de, de piedra, primero se calienta la piedra y luego se ponen las piñas arriba para cocerse a vapor, en tres días están, está la piña cocida, es el, el desbordamiento de almidones, de ahí, de, ahí va, de ahí se le va dando sabor, depende de, del tipo de cocido, pues, que no quede cruda ni, 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 que se quede, ni, ni que se queme, pues. De ahí pasamos a un proceso de molienda y de ahí de la molienda lo pasamos a lo que son tinas de fermentación. Ahí también es un punto clave de cómo fermentarlo, cómo arrancar un mosto, donde la, la, la levadura se, se va comiendo todo lo que es el azúcar. Es una fermentación, pues, tres días de fermentación. Ese mosto, cuando llega a su máxima maduración, se pasa a lo que es el primer destilado o destrozamiento, como, como muchos lo conocen. Ahí... Ahí se, se le da la primera destilada y de ahí pasamos a, a una segunda destilada, donde en la segunda destilada le quitamos lo que son puntas y colas y usamos nada más el puro corazón del mezcal. Por eso es que sale un buen mezcal. Lo que son puntas y colas es cuando está muy arriba de, arriba de 80 grados de alcohol. Ahí lleva, lleva, pues lleva, lleva algo agresivo pues para el paladar, por eso, por eso es que nuestro mezcal es un mezcal suave. Y lo que son las colas es de, de 30 grados hacia abajo, son las colas las que, las que quitamos. ¿verdad? Esa, esa es la clave para sacar un buen mezcal. Aileron es like a mysterious mezcal, you know? It's like an interesting mezcal. Every part of the process, doing the mezcal, it's what, what makes Aileron so special and so interesting, with lots of love and mezcal.
one and only that you will enjoy. A great mixture of smoky flavors from the way they cook me. But the most important thing for me is the opportunity that I bring to the Mexican fields. These are my people, and I love them as much as they love me. Mezcal creates job opportunities. It is basically a tool that allows people to come back to the villages where they, they actually came from. It gives the opportunity uh, of, of, of Mexicans to reconnect with their culture and with their past. For those who, who work in the field and, and do all the process, you know, like cutting the agave and, and all the shit, it's like a lot of work for them, you know? A lot of jobs and a lot of, a lot of Mexican cool stuff. Like Mezcal. I think just seeing the dad, the grandfather, the son, and the grandson all working there together, and they're the ones that understand how to make it, and they care so much about the process. They hang out with their friends to make this drink that's so delicious, and the pride that they have of taking that drink that's so complex, so understated, and putting it in tournaments all around the world, and putting it against big brands, big alcohols that everyone knows, and you're coming out with trophies every single time. The pride that those people have in their eye, knowing that they made that. I think that to me is what being Mexican is all about. The fact that they can come back and work, like people that left for the US for years are coming back and working back on the fields again. Because the way you make mezcal, you need a lot of people, you need a lot of helping hands, you need a lot of love, if you will. It's so many things more than just alcohol. We make Aleron as a friends, a different group of friends. There's musicians, content creators, and we have the same passion. We want to do different things, but special things. It was created with passion, I mean, and with the true sense of enjoying party, enjoying the loved ones, meeting new people. And I think that's very important because very few people in this world actually do things because they love them. And this has happened that way. I think it's, it's the accomplishment of heart, meeting new ideas and executing them. Aileron is different because it was born from a group of friends doing what we love, having a party, enjoying ourselves, enjoying our company, sharing ideas, sharing thoughts, like-minded individuals just sitting at that table, drinking the same thing and saying, why can we just take this party to the next level and just do this? To me, Aileron is that. It's the possibilities of just growing with others, growing that party in a way and taking it to a whole different level that never, never in my life I thought I could have. And also the pride that comes with it, right? Like having your own bottle of alcohol anywhere where you're sitting down to eat. All that together is what makes it so special to me because I did that with my friends. And how many people can say that? I am the drink that you can enjoy alone or with your friends. The one that introduces you to new people, new memories and new experiences. I am Aleron.